Hello, welcome to SuccessfulTradings.com. In today's video, we are going to share yet another instance of call option example. This call option example comes from after earnings set up on NVIDIA stock on February the 14, 2020. By the end of this video, you are going to learn first how to day trade earning momentum, second, how to identify a good entry, and finally, how to benefit on multiple day momentum. So without any further ado, let us go ahead and get started. So NVIDIA, uh, so some of you may be familiar with it. This is not the first time we are trading, successfully trading NVIDIA after earning. You can refer to a previous video that I will make sure to include into this one. So on February the 13th, after market close, NVIDIA released its earning. And as you know, we do not trade <laughs> or we do not advise trading uh, earnings before uh, they are released. That's purely gambling. So we wait for the stock to declare a direction, uh, which was the case here for NVIDIA. So with a jump from uh, 270 to to 87, uh, 17 to 18 points. So the first thing on here for us is that, okay, we know that this is a really strong momentum here, the stock gaining, anytime a stock gain more than five to 6%, that's a strong momentum. And then um, we have, um, as shared with you in the past, that so we like to look at um, the pre-market to see any indication of how the stock may trade. In this case, I'm not sharing the pre-market here, but that pre-market was relatively um, uh, quiet, meaning that uh, the price of Nvidia in pre-markets was really range bound between $288, $288 and $289 throughout. I, I looked at it uh, multiple uh, over several hours since uh, I have the luxury here of uh, being ahead of US markets. Uh, to, in terms of time zone. So upon the open, NVIDIA uh, just jumped and then faced a resistance at 292. On this, I'm using the first, the, the, the five minute candle here on trading view, as you know, uh, there is no trade on here. So the, the, this first candle here, you barely had time to do anything. I mean, if you got it, good for you, it's from 287 to 292, but uh, not that much. One could have actually um, decided that this was a bearish candle on here and decided to take put maybe for a gap fill. But Nvidia very quickly rebounded and for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, five minutes. So a full hour here we are, what's this time? This time here, my time is Pacific time zone still, as you know. So 7.15, that's uh, 45 minutes into the session. There is no clear direction on NVIDIA. So taking put somewhere here uh, may have yielded some money if you were to sell them here. Or, but for the most part, that would have been a losing trade. What came up was um, as a value trade is this confirmation here. As you know, I've been using the volume weighted average price to, for confirmation of good entries on this trade. So that's the case on here where NVIDIA closed at 725 at a price of 288.91. One could pretty much say one rule of thumb is when a stock posts a higher high, meaning that the first high that it posted in this case 292, that's a good criteria that when a stock the price goes above that to say hey uh, it's definitely bullish. But here within this time frame, meaning at 10:25 Eastern Time, 10:30 Eastern Time you can take a trade on NVIDIA to go long. And that trade was very, very rewarding. I'm going to share with you how I traded that trade and how much we made from that. Uh, so let's take a look here at some how we traded NVIDIA. So NVIDIA, I think our entry here, I do not show the timestamp, unfortunately, I apologize for that. This first trade um, in this box, is trading the 290 call. I can tell you that this trade was taken, um, literally the stock was trading at 289 and 50 cents, uh, literally, as I recall. And the, the, the goal for me was to be in the morning as soon as possible, meaning to be to trade above 290 as quickly as possible. So this trade 
was entered on this candle. Yes. So confirmation above the VWAP. The VWAP was at the time 288.33. I'm reading the VWAP here. So when I, I'm on a candle, the, VWAP, the volume weighted average price adjust and tell me what, what that was at that time. So this candle here, uh, 10.30, 7.30 uh, Pacific time, is when NVIDIA trading at close at 289.68. I took these calls for 290 at one dollar and 60 cents per contract. So meaning this cost me $160. That's a little bit more than what uh, we usually do. But uh, I wanted to share with you on here that uh, a, a technique to, to, to quickly secure gains because uh, you are so close to, to the strike that, hey, it's going to be expensive, but that's okay because uh, if the move, you don't need that much of a move to really make, make that money. And we're going to showcase that here. How are we going to showcase that here? Uh, look at this here. Uh, we are selling this one contract that we took for dollar and 60 at four dollar and 19. and notice that actually for me i was really just uh, excited to the idea of securing those profit this is my limit price for selling and as you know the market maker they will feel it based on the current uh, option earlier was moving very very fast i think this went as high as four dollar and at least 50 cents but i didn't bother really going for the jugular on the once i put my order in it i actually tried to modify it but the system was already um uh executing it so that that was that trade in parallel i took this other trade here this other trade here let me tell you about what what my idea here was my idea was that i didn't want to be bothered because this is day trading because this february 14 is firing the same day right so i'm trading that is 10 10 to 10 uh, 53 actually let me share with you just so that you're fully convinced of the timestamp well, now you can see my email uh, address that i've been hiding on other on other things so here's me selling it 753 okay uh that's pacific time and here's me buying it at 733 so uh within 20 minutes so between here and here 161 percent gain in 20 minutes so this is just shy of uh, 300 dollars that uh, we, we 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 generated on this trade so similarly this one was taken literally uh, the timestamp here on this one it's 735 uh, <laughs> we, we could i could share that with you and in this case the i was the idea here so here instead of day trading nvidia here i'm taking a position that's expiring on february 21st meaning a full week ahead the, the aim here is that in case NVIDIA is known for having those massive bullish run from time to time, so in case uh, that were to be one of them, I will not have been concerned at all about uh, Tata eating some of the profits on expiration. So took very cheap, relatively speaking, 35 cents calls, $315 calls for the following week. And what happened on them? I decided that, uh, hey, uh, I take the small gain, 108%. It's not that small, but I secure them uh, here. I think this is the first one that I sold. I think the other one, I, I had three, so I sold them uh, sequen sequentially as well. And on the chart, the selling time is this candle here, 7.50 or 10.50 Eastern time. After settling a little bit for 15 minutes, NVIDIA went as high as let's say 294 97 the high on here was 294.40 so not that much and then after that nvidia retreated nvidia retreated so another takeaway on here in this type of move at some point after making profit in this case on the calls typically traders most traders they may be walk away or they may be looking for more depending on the state of mind um, in this case nvidia was running a little bit hot on the rsi I mean, you can look at it here. It's above 80 for since the open to uh, a good hour and um, 30 minutes into the session. And um, 
NVIDIA retreated. So this move here from 294 to even sub 289, yeah, to, to, yeah, to sub 289, it could have been traded on the short side. I did not, I did not take that. I, I did not trade that. I had uh, other positions to, to, to manage, but this is really tells you the opportunities that, it, that exist. So that, that's what I'm talking about, benefiting from uh, the earning momentum because it provides a momentum in one direction, but we need to be aware as traders that, hey, uh, opportunities still lies on uh, the opposite direction and you can take advantage of that. So if now we change the time frame and I quickly come here, um, I want to share this with you. Okay, so on the daily chart, here's where NVDA is stuck, right? I guarantee you over the next week, there is a possibility of making money on NVIDIA option. I'm not saying that they're going to be calls necessarily, that could be, but there is also a possibility that NVIDIA could be closing the gap. Why am I saying that? Well, if you study the chart of NVIDIA, here's an instance here where it jumps above the upper Bollinger, and within the next five trading days, it retreated. Here's another one on here. So if you were to ask me right now to force me to say, hey, where's NVIDIA going from this close at two, just shy of 290? I am going to be biased towards uh, retreating to 280 or 275. So next week, I will be trading NVIDIA, but the way that I will be trading NVIDIA, I'm gonna be day trading NVIDIA, giving me momentum on a day per day basis. If I take a position, it's going to be a position that is a swing position, I'm going to be strangling it. So that's, uh, that's the take on here on uh, NVIDIA post earning. Uh, many of you have been uh, asking for uh, more of this uh, call option example. I hope that uh, you like this one on NVIDIA. And uh, so please go ahead, uh, like, comment, and share your thoughts. Mm -hmm. And uh, we will be sure to continue to cater the content of this channel to your liking. Thank you very much. Talk to you soon and have a great weekend. Bye-bye. Hello, welcome to SuccessfulTradings.com. In today's video, we are going to share yet another instance of call option example. This call option example comes from after...